Pokemon. It is so easy to lose. <laughs> I lose this thing like twice a day and it blends in. My name is Justin Redman. I am an associate staff writer for Sleep at Wirecutter. The Aura Ring is a wearable sleep tracker that you wear on your index, middle, or ring fingers. And it's able to detect your sleep staging. So how often you're in REM sleep, deep sleep, light sleep, how often you're awake during the night. It's also able to detect things like heart rate, heart rate variability, oxygen rate, like how many breaths you take per minute, as well as your skin temperature during the night. Aura Ring can be traced back to 2015 when it was a startup. They started on Kickstarter. They subsequently came out with the first version of the ring, which was a bit bigger and bulkier than what we have now. But this current version of the ring, which looks kind of like a wedding band, came out in 2018. It's been around for a while. The big reason why the Aura Ring has gotten a lot of popularity is because of the COVID-19 pandemic, because of its potential COVID-19 tracking applications. There's actually a study released by West Virginia University. It's important to note that Aura worked closely with researchers in providing access to data. Released by the Rockefeller Neuroscience Institute, it said that this ring can detect COVID-19 three days before symptoms begin with at least 90% certainty. Now, obviously, these kinds of tracking technologies are very much just experimental. Mental, it is able to tell you with reasonable certainty a lot of things that are going on inside your body that you might not realize are going on. I mean, you could just be hungover and like your numbers could just go completely haywire, but you could also have COVID-19. It, it can't differentiate between those two necessarily. Anything that can track your heart rate, heart rate variability, oxygen rate, and skin temperature is gonna be able to key you into some things that are going on inside your body. If you can see like the little bumps in there, they are gonna shine light beams through your skin. Based on how those light beams are reflected back, they're able to detect changes relating to your blood flow. It could at least give you some clues about what's going on in your health. I've been wearing this ring almost 24 seven for a few months now. Other than charging it once a week, you really have to wear it most of the time for its metrics to be accurate because it tracks sleep and activity. How active you are during the day will impact how the ring contextualizes some of your data. For example, if you were to have just an insane workout, you wake up, your body is just completely sore, you can't get out of your bed, but you didn't wear the aura ring while you were working out, it's not gonna know. The way it tracks activity is a little little bit different than you would expect from a wearable. It's not going to track your active heart rate. It's not going to track your active heart rate variability. It'll be able to track the distance that you walked. It'll be able to approximate your calories burned. It's not going to tell you much beyond that other than you were active. It's still important that you wear it most of the time because it's going to take that into account for some of your scores. And it's going to take that into account into telling you how much capacity you might have for the next day. Core marketing claim is that this thing is able to best approximate your wellness more than other different fitness or sleep trackers because of the heart rate and HRV monitoring element. Uh, the heart rate and heart rate variability measurements are extremely accurate. According to the validation studies that Aura provided us, the heart rate measurement is 99.9% .9 correlated with measurements from an electrocardiogram. And the heart rate variability measurement is 98.4% correlated to an electrocardiogram. You get almost medical grade accuracy when it comes to this Aura Ring. It does pretty well. Especially in the beginning, I was testing this alongside several different sleep trackers, including Sleep Score, Pillow, Sleep Cycle, and I believe Sleep is Android as well. No sleep tracker is going to be perfect because they don't actually look at your brain waves like you would in the sleep lab. But the results are fine. They do okay. And just like all other sleep trackers, the Aura Ring does about in line with that, where it's not going to be anywhere near as good as a sleep lab, but you're going to be able to get some useful information. The high cost combined with the fact that the features are a bit niche in many ways makes it kind of a tough sell for a lot of people. So you kind of have to do your own analysis of what do you want this ring for after you've determined that, is it worth it for your purposes? If you're just looking for a sleep tracker, I would advise trying a sleep tracking app for 30 or $50 a year. If you're purely looking for a fitness tracker, you should probably get the Fitbit, which is also quite a bit cheaper. If you're not a workout warrior, 
if you're not someone that really needs help with your sleep and you just want interesting data about your health, then this would be a really interesting product for you to buy. In terms of coronavirus, the Aura Ring has the ability to key you into your well-being before you start getting sick, but it's not specific enough to differentiate what you're actually sick with. Like I said before, the same metrics that might suggest COVID-19 can also point to alcohol use, extreme exertion, or some other kind of a non-COVID illness, like just say the common cold. But it can still give you interesting insights to your overall health, or at least confirm what you're already feeling. To see our in-depth review on the Aura Ring, click the link below. And if you want to see more, like and subscribe.